So hot off the heels after winning the biggest trophy in world football, the Community Shields, we're ready to open the season with a derby against Wolves and yet another game against Premier League champions for two years in a row, Liverpool. What could possibly go wrong? Let's get into season three. How you doing guys and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Go Villa. I'm Stu, thank you for joining me in today's video where, yeah as I mentioned, we're going to be playing in a derby against Wolves and an away game at Atfield against the best team in the league, Liverpool. What could possibly, possibly go wrong? If you're looking forward to both of those games, please do leave a like on the video and subscribe so you never miss any of the lovely FM content from yours truly, including the soon-to-be FN23 content that will be appearing on the channel when the beta drops. Beta? Beta? I think I've debated that before. Um, since you were last with us, it's been a week, not a lot's happened, except we do now have a wild Pablo Fornells at the club. Why does it do this every now and then? Here we go. Uh, we have a wild Pablo Fornells at the club. He has joined us on loan. He is here for the season. We have got a future fee agreed uh, if we were to take it up, but we're not going to probably because it's £28 million. Pounds. I'm not going to be signing him for £28 million, pounds, but I actually think he's a lot of player for a loan fee. Yes, we're paying a lot of his wages. That's a lot of money for someone who's effectively going to be a backup, but I do think he's going to do a decent job for us if he's called upon. He'll do a good rob. A good rob, a good job in that defensive um, kind of deep line playmaker role in the midfield that we have, which is currently being occupied by Coutinho, and hopefully at some point Coutinho. I'm just not being brave enough to uh, actually pull a trigger on that. Um, Raspadori is joining. We're just waiting for the work permit to be confirmed, and he will be joining. We're also trying to get Sergio Rico in on loan. We were looking at him earlier in the window as a backup, but we decided to go with the younger. And worse, Etienne Green. And after the Community Shield, which you have, if you haven't watched, please go back and watch it because it was an epic game. It was at the end of the transfer special. The idea of bringing him on when Martinez was on a 6.2 after conceding two sloppy goals terrified me. So we're going to try and get a proper goal lead. And then we've got Etienne Green as a third choice. I mean, he's down as backup, so hopefully he'll understand that. But as I mentioned... Wolverhampton Wanderers. That's not what I want to do. I want to get to this screen. There we go. Uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers. This is the 11 we're going to be using to go into it. And a lot of it is reaction to the uh, <laughs> to the game against Liverpool in the Community Shield. We have swapped a few players around as a result. It is Martinez in goal. Arons, Concert, Theat and Bjorkan in defence. Aya Gonçalves and Vatina in the midfield with Palmer, Buendia and Abraham up front. Players who have a reprieve from the Community Shield with their performances. Martinez, for his heroics in the penalty shootout and for just improving as the game went on, I'll forgive the mistakes. Esri Konza, basically because Tadebo has only just come back to full fitness, otherwise he wouldn't be in there. Uh, and Emil Buendia, because Emil Smith, row I want to get him a bit more game time off the bench before we start starting him. Um, interesting to know, Emi Buendia... Um, actually, no, I'd swap you two rounds. I, I, I think that weird glitch with the stars on the side of some of the players down here has swapped a couple of players around. When D, we weren't going to start because I've decided I've had enough of him. Because as well, Real Madrid have now registered interest. I haven't offered anything, but he is now wanted. As is Bjorkan. I don't really want to lose Bjorkan because, as I said before, he could be our backup left back for life. He's really, really good at being a decent fullback. I don't really want to lose him. But if they offer up to, what was that, up to 60 million? If they, 40 million. If they offer around 40 million for a player who we signed for, I can't remember how much we signed him for. If we, if we get 40 million, we have to accept it, surely. We absolutely have to. But that is the 11. That's what we're going with. And hopefully, we can batter Wolves in the first game of the season. That's certainly the plan. Uh, Jacob Ramsey, Brandon Williams, by the way, both are nearly at full fitness and powerful now. I'm not going to put him on the squad. Um, just. I want to get him his fitness built up before we put him in. In fact, you know what? Actually, let's whack him on the bench. Let's put Lucas Dignate out of his misery. Let's take him out. And we'll have Fournals there just in case. And we'll have Tadebo there as well. Making all the changes on the fly. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's get into the game and let's see whether we can get the first three points of the season. Let's go. I do think we've upgraded this team. This team? <laughs> I can't speak today. I think we've upgraded this team significantly. Uh, over the last couple of seasons, uh, in the last uh, well, four transfer windows, well, three transfer windows, I suppose, because um, we didn't really make any investment in the first couple. So uh, last season, both of those transfer windows and this one just passed. And Pedro Gonzalez, 
against a club that I think he used to play for. I can't remember. No, it's Vatina who used to play for them. Actually, Pedro didn't. Um, but there might be enough side involved here, so it might not actually be given as a goal. It's a shame if it's not, because it looked like a really nice goal. And it has been given. So, happy days, John Moss. Thank you. Your check's in the post. Christopher Ayer starts to move off here. Gets it to Aaron's. Aaron's looking for options. Gets it all the way out to Palmer. Palmer heads it down. And Pedro just knocks it into the back of the net because... Pedro Gonçalves is an absolute G. I'm looking for a bit more from him this season. He was good last year, but we then shifted him into the Mazala role. And I think he's just taken a bit of time to get back up to his standards. It'll be interesting to see whether he does. Because as a Tammy Abraham, did you see that pass? That pass was a thing of beauty. Just that little back heel. Palmer's gone down in the box. And it's a penalty. And guess who's on penalties? The guy who started the move with that lovely little flare pass. That little back heel between the legs. That was a thing of beauty. If you didn't see it, go back and watch it. Because, oh my word. Football manager, behave yourself. That was a thing of beauty. People who say things aren't... That the match engine isn't good. I know it's not FIFA. But I really enjoy this a lot more than I do FIFA. Just putting it out there. It's not a penalty. What is going on? Wow. It's been a while since I've had one like that. Where it's no penalty... And it's not one that's on the edge of the box. Like We've had loads of those before where it ends up being a free kick. But I've not had one like that. Cole Palmer's picked up an injury. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Can he not be injured? Fiddlesticks. Okay, right. We're going to bring on Emmy. We're going to give him a chance uh, to show off for Real Madrid. It's the obvious tra it's the obvious uh, substitution to make there. Uh, Coutinho we could bring on. We could put Smith over there. But it's the obvious one. Right, Coutinho whipping it in. Uh, and we might get another penalty here. Well, I say another penalty. We didn't get the first one, did we? Sanderson apparently has infringed. Um, he's going over to look at the little telly. So the little person in the little telly can tell him whether the little man pushed over the other little man. Uh, they're all little because they're on a computer screen. Uh, let's see. Do we get a penalty? John Moss, please. Give Tammy a chance to get a goal. He's got his chance to get a goal. Come on, Tammy. Let's do it. Let's do it. For his first official goal for the club. His first league goal for the club. I think the Community Shield does still count as like a proper competitive goal. But Tammy Abraham does score on his proper, proper debut. Re-debut for Aston Villa. Number nine, Tammy Abraham. Second goal of the season. First in the league. And it's 2-0 to Aston Villa against Wolves. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, I do love it when a plan comes together. Tammy Abraham. I was talking towards the end of the last season. We need a proper striker who has the ability to get us 20 goals a season. Looking at Tammy's stats and how he's grown, he's absolutely that in every way, shape and form. If it doesn't happen, it's something about the rest of the players in this team not gelling with him and him not gelling with them because he's got the ability to do it. But he showed in the last game that he's absolutely up for it. We know the system has got goals in it. We've been consistently in the top three for goals scored every season so far. So, we know we've got it in us. Tammy's in again here. Tammy might be getting a second. He's got a second. Tammy Abraham playing like Man City Erling Haaland. Just scoring all the goals. That's a bit a bit dramatic, I know. But you've got to get the uh, the overdramatic sound bites in there, haven't you? A Tammy just... Oh, it just brute forces his way through. It just bullies him. Took his lunch money. And his phone. And just did what he want with them. Perfect. Smith Rowe not having the best of time so far. I mean, he's not terrible, to be fair. I mean, I'm probably being a bit harsh on him. He's doing all right for a, for a first start. Bearing in mind, he's not had a preseason with us. So, it is what it is. I'm just I'm a bit worried about Cole Palmer. I really hope Cole's not out for a long time because he's been integral for the last couple of seasons to what we've done. And now we've bought him permanently. I really don't want him to be hurt. Right. I'd say, well done. Pat everyone on the head. Bjorkan's actually not having the best of games. Not advertising himself well for Real Madrid. Emi Wendy, however... Giving a great advert as to why they want him. Right, let's carry on. Let's see if we can get a fourth, shall we? Because I'm really having a lovely time. Um, and I want to get as many goals in in this game before the game against Liverpool at Anfield. Because I've got a feeling we're going to get absolutely smacked. Right, Smith Rowe with a chance to do something here. Cuts inside. Gets it back to Bjorken. Bjork Bjorken? Bjorken? I don't know. I'm going to say Bjorken because that's what I've said for the majority of the time since we've signed him. Right, Tammy, who's on a hat-trick, remember, actually goes to Pedro Gonzalez. And Gonzalez gets his second of the, get of, the, of the day of the game, whatever you want to call it. I'm really tripping over my words today. I'm ever so sorry. The most important thing is we're 4-0 up. Yay! I'll take that. It's a beautiful thing. Vettinia gets the ball on the edge of the box here, crosses it in, gets it to Tammy, and Tammy... Could look for a goal, but instead goes to Pedro, and it is 4-0.
And that will do plenty. 47 minutes gone. We've smacked Wolves around a little bit. We could, we could shut up shop here. I'd be content. But let's try and get a fifth, shall we? Right. Theat clears beautifully from uh, from the corner for Wolves. And Neto now looking to try and get it in. But oh, <laughs> Brent Diaz just like, no, sir. Not a chance. Right. And Pedro Gonzalez is in here. And it might not be Tammy who gets the hat trick. It's not Pedro either. He's gone and just overcooked it a little bit. It hits the crossbar. And Benitez clears it only as far as Aya, though. Aya into Vatinia. Vatinia to Pedro. Pedro goes for the world. And it's just wide. He really wants a hat-trick. Bless him. He really wants a hat-trick. Um, Bjorkan, I think, is... I mean, I, normally, he's a solid player. But he's not... Oh, my words. What is going on in that penalty area? What was going on there? It ends up not leading to a goal. But, my words. How we didn't put it in the back of the net there with all that cast, I don't know. Bjorkan is a solid player. I mean, he comes for 6.7, so it's all good. Um, Tammy looking for a goal again, but I think it's going to be giving us offside. Uh, no, it wasn't actually. It was just bad defending from them and bad finishing from us. Uh, right, substitute o'clock. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see what we can do. Um, I should talk about Ollie Watkins as well. Ollie Watkins did have a transfer offer from, it was a Spanish club, but I can't remember who it is. We'll bring Tyrone Mings on a fullback, because why not? That'll learn him. Uh, um, yeah, someone came in, and it was £25 million either way so up front and on installment so it's 50 million pounds total i was very close to accepting it so i'm just thinking of what to do here i don't know what substitution to make here um well rest smith row and i'll tell you who we'll bring on we'll bring on pablo for now so let's give him some football and i'm gonna give it a few more minutes we'll go to 75 and then we'll bring on a couple of other players as well um yeah, he didn't have any inclination of wanting to go. And to be honest, I didn't really want to have to sign another striker. We signed Tammy. Yes, we've got Raspadori coming in, but he's being signed more to be a winger and a cover striker if we desperately need it. It's a lot of money. And if I saw that Watkins... I mean, Jota nearly put in. It's not that Jota. It's another Jota. Um, if I saw any inclination that he actually wanted to leave, I might have gone for it. But it just didn't feel like the thing to do. It just felt like we better hang on to him because... In the nicest way, he has scored a lot of goals for us. And I do really like him as a player as well. Right, Tadebo's coming on. He's going to make his debut for the club. And we're going to bring him on for uh, Esri Konza. And then for my final trick, I think tino has got to come on. And we're going to bring him on for Fatinha in the middle. Let's give him some football as the deep line playmaker. Hopefully, he can do a good job there. Because if he doesn't, then the whole plan of the transfers for this window goes out the window. Because... We have signed him to be in that position. But then with four nails as well, we can swap them back around. Four nails playing out wide at the moment, can play in the middle. Coutinho, playing in the middle at the moment, can play out wide. We've got options with this team. And I think that's the thing I really like about it. There's so many players, in particular up front and in the midfield, there's so many interchangeable parts that just work wherever you put them for the most part. Right, to Debo, gets to Coutinho, into Gonçalves. Gonçalves now looking for Tammy. Tammy flicks it on to absolutely no one, ends up chasing it himself. Benitez now collects it for Wolves, looking to distribute out. Gets it to Sanderson. Sanderson into Never. Sanderson, remember, giving away the penalty. They're playing dangerously here, this back three for Wolves, with Chris Smalling in. Interesting. Wonder how Chris Smalling is doing in this universe. Right, Buendia into Coutinho. Gonzalez looking for Tammy again. It's flicked on by Anderson back to Benitez. Wolves dealt with that really well, actually. Full credit to them. Good to see Martinez recovered after the Community Shield. Yes, he did recover in that game, but still, it wasn't that good a performance overall, even though we got a half-decent rating. Tammy's in here. And Tammy Abraham with an Emmy Buendia cross, which makes me really hope Real Madrid... Don't come in for him because of that was something special. Right. Smalling gets it out to Dendonka, who of course is a Villa player in real life now. And it's him who makes the mistake. Abraham gets it back to Brendy. Brendy with a lovely ball. And Tammy just blasts it into the back of the net. Five-star Villa on the opening day of the season. We wanted a good result. We've got a good result. I'm going to praise the team. And that is spectacular. That will do. Three for Tammy. Two for Gonzalez. Couple of assists for Brendia, an assist for Tammy, and an assist for the injured Cole Palmer, who we need to see how he's doing because I'm a little bit concerned about him. But 10 out of 10 for Tammy Abraham. I know I made the really silly comparison to Erling Haaland earlier, but in all seriousness, maybe two to three weeks. That's not ideal. However, we do now have the depth to cover it, I think, especially when Raspadori signs, we will. We'll pat Tabby on the head. I mean, he's taller than me. He'll probably knock me out for doing that. Right. That was spectacular, and I think we're going to be top after all of the first games are played. Um, on to the Liverpool game, and hopefully by then 
will definitely have Raspadori and might even have Sergio Rico in. So I feel a little bit more confident this thing happens to Martinez. Give me a minute and I'll see you for the Liverpool game. Well, I'm going to count that transfer window done. As Giacomo Raspadori is through the door. I'm a little bit disappointed with him, though, because he's now only showing up as three-star potential. He was definitely at least four-star before. I have to have a word with my scouts on that one. But he's two-and-a-half-star current ability, three-star potential. He's good enough to play in the Premier League. He'll be all right for us, and we'll see whether he grows. It could be because he's surrounded by better players, maybe. I'm going to go with that for now, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, what we'll do is we'll have him for a season and sell him on, hopefully, at a profit. Remember, we bought him in 13 million, so as long as we get 20 million, I'll be happy. But this is going to be the 11 that's going to be facing Liverpool in the second game of the season. Oh, no, before that as well, Sergio Rico's in. Signing from Paris Saint-Germain on loan. We were looking at him earlier in the window. We ended up going with Etienne Green. Feels like a bit, of a bit of a silly on my part, if we're being completely honest. But he is in. He is going to be our backup keeper. We're going to have to try and play him in the gut competitions. But I think he'll do a good job when he's called upon. But this is the 11 for the game against Liverpool. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous about it. It's Martinez in goal. Aaron's concert. Tadebo, Digne in defence. Ayo Gonçalves and Vatinha in the midfield. With Buendia and Coutinho supporting Abraham up front. Coutinho is there purely because Emil Smith-Rowe is still finding his feet. We did play him in the under-23s. He has looked good in the under-23s. But we're going to go with him slowly because... I don't want to rush him and make a judgment, basically. And that's what I'm a little bit worried about. One thing that's worth pointing out is, as well, Frederick Bjorkan has had an offer from Real Madrid, but it was like 30 million, which is a bargain. And it's for them, but it's also really, really good for us. But I kind of want more. So we've got him to prom We've promised him that 50 million pounds is the fee. I'm not going to lie. In my head, between 30 and 40 is the fee. I want enough money that I can replace him with a very good left-back. So, we'll see what happens with that if Madrid come back in. They are still interested in Emi Buendia, but they've not actually done anything. And I think they're the only players that have got significant interest at the moment. Palmer, Williams and Jacob Ramsey all nearing return or are pretty much at the return. Jacob Ramsey's only not fit because he played in the under-23s. Let's see how we do against Liverpool, shall we? We played them in the last episode. We ended up getting a really dramatic draw. Let's see whether we can get things settled in normal time this time. Well, we obviously are because there's no extra time in the Premier League. You get my point. Let's see whether one of us can win. Hopefully, it'll be us. Let's go. We're getting closer and closer to what I would consider to be the ideal squad. There are a couple of positions we definitely need to address. I do think centre-back, although we've made a very good signing in Tadebo and another good signing in Thea, I do actually think that Tyro Mings may be not long for this team. He's dropped down to two and a half stars in the squad. And again... It's the thing that happens. You level up the players around the ones you originally had. And you end up seeing the original players have their star ratings drop down. And that is what's happening, I think. It's happened with Konza. If he's not playing as a ball-playing defender, it's the same with Tyro Mings as well. So, it's something we do need to bear in mind. The players aren't necessarily worse. It's just that's how good the players around them are. I am thinking, though. I did say, to be fair, when we were talking about potentially upgrading one of the central defenders between Diego Carlos and Tyro Mings... I did say, one of them is going to happen first, but the other one will happen eventually. It might be a case of we keep Tyro Mings and he just ends up being a backup. In which case, I'd like Arthur Theat to grow really quickly and I'd like him to be the player who steps into those shoes. I don't know whether he will be, but I think there's potential there. And um, We're building up quite nicely here, but that final ball from Coutinho is a little bit lacking. But Tammy has just bullied Virgil van Dijk and he's going to score his fifth of the season. Tammy Abraham, behave yourself. He has bullied Virgil. Absolutely bullied him. Virgil thinks he's got all the time in the world. And Tammy's just there pressing. He's not a pressing forward. He's an advanced forward. But he does the pressing really well. And it's funny. I mention this a lot of times. I'm not going to link it because I've linked it enough times. Champions League final in FN21 on Switch with Aston Villa. It was Virgil van Dijk who made the mistake. Who gifted us our winning, you know, our winning goal. Yes, it was. Um, he was the one who gifted us the goal. It was Trezgue who scored it. And absolutely insane at the time. And it's insane to see that he's made a mistake there as well. And Tammy might have scored another. I've got a feeling this is offside, personally. I've got a feeling it's offside. I've not learned what the little tell is with the players. But I've got a feeling it is going to be offside. Darren England. Yeah, it is offside. Remains 1-0. Tammy only with the one goal. Would have been a nice assist for Pedro. I mean, <laughs> 
Tammy and others offside. Really good work from the Liverpool defence there to make sure that they played everyone offside. Christopher Ayer, we need to have a chat with. He needs to calm himself down a little bit. He's on a 6.5 at the moment. Brandia's having a shocker as well. But it is half-time and we do lead. And that is the most important thing. I'm just going to say, we're happy to keep it up. I'm going to have a chat with a couple of them. You need to calm yourself down. Uh, you need to step things up. Not happy at all. I'd like to see more from Coutinho, if I'm being completely honest. And I think everyone else is doing a good job. Let's carry on, shall we? Emmy Martinez, touch wood, having a good game so far as well. Let's just see whether we can push on and get a second goal. Liverpool have actually been the better team so far, if you go by chances and possession. But we have the... Wow, I say higher XG. It's by... 0.001 at the moment is the lead of XG that we have. So it's not exactly by a lot. But it will be a big, big win if we can topple this Liverpool team at Anfield. I don't necessarily know that we will. Even though we're 1-0 up at the moment and have technically scored another one that got disallowed. I do still think... Oh, that Jones again. Sergio Milinkovic Savage is there. Puts it wide though. And Davide Fratesi, who we looked at at one point, comes on for Liverpool. Um, just because we're 1-0 up... And have got a goal disallowed as well. It doesn't fill me with confidence. This Liverpool team are so good. They've upgraded where they've needed to in this universe. More so than they have in real life. I mean, to get SMS, Sergio Milinkovic Savage, that's a huge get. That is a huge get. Buendia, oh, it's poor from him. He tries to get it in and he doesn't. Both of the wingers having poor games. I do think our changes are going to be coming and they are going to be on the wings. Robertson now looking for someone. Conser heads it to Vitinha now. Vitinha now looking for options. Goes back to Ayer instead. Ayer hasn't actually gotten better, but he hasn't gotten worse. So he's all right at the moment. But Buendia again. It's, it's poor. The pass wasn't great. But Buendia didn't sprint back to try and get it. And Darwin Nunes is there. And he's very unlucky not to put it in the back of the net. Right. Changes are occurring. And Buendia is the first one to come off. And the problem is... Cole Palmer would be the one I'd want to bring on, and he is not currently fit. I don't really want to bring Emil Smith Rowe onto the pitch to play on the right. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Pedro's going to play that. We're going to bring on Palo Fornaus, who can play as a Mazala, and we're going to bring on Emil Smith Rowe on that side as well. I could have bring I could bring on Raspadori to be fair. He can play on the left too, and Emil can play on the right. Again, I don't want to bring Emil on the right though. Oh, Lucas Digne is injured, so we'll definitely change him. Bjorkan can come on, although he is nervous. Bit of a concern. That's three changes. Let's make another one, or shall we leave it? I think we might leave it. I mean, I uh, tell you what, I don't want to get Aya sent off. Let's bring him off for Sander Burge. Right, come on, lads. Let's push on. Let's demand a bit more. We're doing well, but we can do better. We can do better. Right, Bjorkan with the throw. Gets to Vitinha. Out wide to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe now. Gets it back to Vitinha. Into Sander Burge. Sander Burge to Bjorkan. Bjorkan to Burge. Burge. Bjorkan. Nice little passing here, but not really doing a lot with it. And as long as we retain possession, I'll be happy. But I would like to see us do something with it. Right. Four now goes back to Conta. All the way out to Emmy Martinez. Launches the ball forward looking for Tammy. Can't quite find him. And we give Liverpool the chance to build from the back here, which is a bit of a concern. Fabinho has gone to centre-back. Mo Salah and Trent both on yellow cards. We really should be looking to try and exploit that by pressing them. And we haven't done that, which is a bit of a concern. And Bjorkan, I'm not being funny. That's a dive. There's no way that that's a penalty. He's nowhere near him. He was nowhere near him. I get that's probably a graphical error, but he was nowhere near him. But Emmy Martinez is a bloody hero. He's gone and saved it anyway, because it's Emmy Martinez. And early season penalties are what he does. I was getting ready to say none of it matters because they've gone and got a goal from open play anyway. Oh, Pablo Fornals. Oh, up until that pass, he did so well. That was great movement from Fornals. Absolutely superb. Absolutely superb. Right, it's corner to Liverpool. Conser heads it clear. Fornals is going to be the one on it again. I just want him to hold the ball up for support. But he's going for it down the right-hand side. Gets it into Vitinha. Nicely done from Paolo Fornals there. Really, really happy with his work. And we go again. Bjorkan now. Looking for someone to pass the ball to. He has got Smith Rowe, who is now on the ball. Hasn't really done much yet. Smith Rowe. He's very content on passing the ball to others. I tell you what, Vitinha. We've seen him score some screamers. Absolute worldies, but looked for one there that was really not there, if I'm being completely honest. Right, Smith Rowe, we're going to switch him out over to the other side. We are going to bring Raspadori on, just give him a chance. Um, I don't know whether Pedro Gonzalez is the player I want to bring off, but he's going to be the one I bring off anyway. 
I think he has to be. Yeah, he is shattered. So let's bring someone else on. And that person is going to be making his debut. Raspadori. Come on. A bit more from you, boys. Let's try and get a win. Well, I'll say a winner. Let's try and get another one just to cement it. Right, Smith Rowe with a deep free kick. Looks for Konza. He found him as well. He found Esri Konza, but Konza puts it over. There's no time left, really. There's just injury time. And we have got, I think, our first win against Liverpool at Anfield. We didn't deserve it, looking at the match stats. But my word, did we get it. And we definitely defended well. Liverpool really frustrated. You can see the amount of yellow cards, how frustrated they were. Smith Rowe ended up having a good game. That is pretty special, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, my word. And that is going to put us top of the table. Obviously, there's other games to go. But at the moment, that puts us top of the table. I'm a little bit shocked at that. I expected us to at least... At the least, get beat. At the most, get a draw, if I'm being honest. So, we've done well there. We've done very well. Don't know what I said, by the way. Louis Barry's gone to Preston. They're the team that Cameron Archer played for last season and got the golden boot in the championship for Cameron Archer. At Blackburn, both of them scoring goals. Yay. Um, Emmy Martinez, that penalty save. Big boy stuff from Emmy Martinez. Very impressed with him in that game. Right, when will we be back? First thing you have to say, I don't think, unless Bjorkan or Brendia leave, I think transfer business is done. Money-wise, we've got 17 million in the bank. Well, we've got 17 million in transfer kitty, 23 and a half million in the bank. We're making a loss so far this season. In terms of debt and loans, we have a little bit of transfer debt, and our net debt is basically nothing. The net debt, I actually feel like the net debt is mostly wait, well, it's all transfer debt, in fact. There's not a lot of debt here at all. So at some point, this is going to become a non-factor. Uh, but we do have a loss at the moment this season. I'd actually quite like one of those players to go. And then we bring in a cheaper alternative. Just to try and help settle this a little bit. Because I get a little bit nervous with this. However, Champions League money's got to come in. If we have a good, another good Champions League run, it'll be absolutely fine. Um, anyway, that's not what we're talking about. When will we be back? I think we've got to come back for Champions League, haven't we? One league game, one Champions League game. We have got the EFL Cup third rounds come. We are defending that trophy. I'll be honest with you. I'm not too worried about that. Let's come back for Champions League and Premier League. So Champions League will be in and around this area. We'll come back for one of those and one of the Premier League games in there. I'd love to give you more, but we don't know who we've got in the group yet. I'm really, really hoping it's not a hard one. Really hoping it's not a hard one. But that will do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like on it and do subscribe so you never miss any of the lovely Football Manager content on the channel, including the future FN23 stuff. I am going to be talking about what save I'm going to be doing to start off with soon, I promise you. Uh, I've been Stubo, you guys have been awesome, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.